Hey guys, we're going to try a different style of video um, today. We're going to give you a bit of a vlog on a particular topic. Uh, we're going to show you how we planted Portia, which is a hemp, um, for ground cover. And it's fantastic for your soil. It fixes the nitrogen into your soil and then creates a huge amount of biomass. When it's grown, you can chop it down and use it as biomass. It's fantastic. So anyway, um, this is a new style of video. I hope you like it. Let me know, guys. Guys, it was really fantastic to see at this point in time a pair of what we think are red eagles. Uh, they're quite rare in Thailand, I believe, but there was a pair over the land hunting, probably because of us disturbing the soil, looking for uh, looking for rodents, mice, etc. Fantastic to see.
Okay guys, I'm going to try and talk through this bit because there's a lot of things going in on here. Uh, this looks very simple to do, but actually isn't. Uh, I made quite a few mistakes. The first mistake I made, if you look, is that I was wearing gloves right at the start of this. Uh, normally, I would always recommend wearing gloves, especially in this kind of environment. Uh, but in this case, do not wear gloves. You cannot feel the seeds or the amount of seeds that are leaving your hand. And as a result, um, the first bucket, I think, must have gone down about four times faster than it should have done. So first things first, do not wear a pair of gloves to start. The next thing I would say, you need to be as methodical as possible doing this. I know it sounds obvious, but you do. The, the, thing, the best thing to do, I think, is to walk in the tractor trail. So do one plow width at a time and walk down the whole length of that plow width. Uh, the next thing, uh, make sure that the wind is behind you. You get a better spread if, this, if the wind is behind you. If you throw it into the wind, you've got no control of how much blows back at you. So who make sure the wind is behind you. That's another thing I learned. And there's definitely a technique to doing this. I think I'm going to have to get some of the local guys to show me how they do it and see if I can copy them. Because something that looks so easy to do, it definitely isn't. Now the amount of seed I had here should have been more than enough to cover the area I had to seed. Uh, I ran out of seed with about 25% left, maybe a bit less, so I was over seeding. And that's entirely down to me wearing gloves when I first started doing this and I shouldn't have been. One other thing that I think would have helped a lot if we had mowed the grass first, cut it down first rather than just plow it in. I think it would have given us a cleaner surface which then makes it more easy to see where the seed lands um, and also puts that biomass into the ground as well so it can compost down into the ground as well. Of course all these things are much easier to do if you have a tractor of your own, if you're, if you're borrowing a tractor or, or a tractor and a worker off a friend then they have to bring the brush cutter, then they have to bring the plough so it's easier if you've got your own equipment to do this. So guys, a few days ago we ploughed this area and we planted uh, Portiung, which is uh, hemp. It's a ground cover crop. It fixes nitrogen into the soil. It grows really high, so you get a lot of biomass when you can cut it down, use it as uh, straw and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, you also then you can plough it back in if you want to, and it really rebuilds the soil. Hey Bruno. Come here. Hey Bruno. So yeah, this, this is looking really good actually. Should cover, we should get a really good cover crop of hemp this year. Um, so fingers crossed. And like I say, I'll give you an update in a few weeks time when it's grown up, you can see exactly how well we've done. And uh, I'll talk a bit more about it then. Thanks guys, take care. So guys, I hope you like this new style of video we're trying out. It won't be scripted as we normally do, so it might seem less polished. I'm trying to get as much information into each video as possible, whilst at the same time make it easier to upload more consistently. Please let us know in the comments what your thoughts are, whether you prefer this style or the old style. Thanks again for watching and take care. Oi! You too? What are you doing there?